All right. Hello, everyone. This is the CRT Productions, and this is Facebook Marketplace, a place you can go to buy things. And, um, well, what a place it is. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some silly computer ads. Um, this is something that a lot of people have done, and it's a type of video that I enjoy quite a bit myself watching. And I figured I'd make one myself because there's a lot of uh, silly ads on here. And particularly lately, I've noticed a lot. I, I browse Facebook Marketplace daily and just to see what kind of silly crap shows up on there. And uh, I've noticed a high volume of silly, weird listings lately. So we're going to take a look at a few of them. I did bookmark a few in particular. I glanced at them. I saw that they were pretty funny. And uh, I quickly stopped looking at it and said, okay, I'm making this video. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. So I just opened it up just now before I started recording, and we're just going to take a look at some of the uh, random listings that show up here um, automatically. So first of all, we've got uh, several computer listings. For some reason, it's showing me some power wheels. I don't know why it's showing me that, uh, but anyway... Got a 1650 Super for $100. That's clearly a scam. Um, just a fan piece miss missing. Oh, a fan blade broke off of it. All right, so we're starting off strong here. Um, yeah, $100. What are, what are the people selling those for on eBay? Like $500, I think. Anyway, yeah. Um, we've got this Dell PowerEdge server and a very, very long description for it. Um, old, very old, what in the world? Powered by Teradata. Okay, it's got uh, Ubuntu on it or something like that, I don't know, Linux of some kind. Uh, okay, it's the server, it weighs 60 pounds, that's good, I need to know that. Um, I'll need someone else to help come and pick it up, I suppose. Uh, please note, uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah. I was going to use this as a virtual machine server, but I found a great deal on Temple Rack server. I'm using them. Okay. Do we really need to know all of that? I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the funny ads. So here's one. It's a old um, Dell computer for sale. Um, good computer. We just don't need it. Missing cord to monitor. Otherwise, it works great. One picture. Um, that's a that monitor. Looks like one of the. It probably isn't, but it looks like one of those uh, Dell monitors, older Dell monitors that are like really high resolution. It's widescreen, 16 by 10. Um, they've got the tower upside down, Windows Vista Basic, old, old uh, computer, Walmart special back in the day. And anyway, let's see what in the world this is. A Pivia. Um, has monitor and mouse, they don't have the keyboard, everything works. Operating system is Windows 10. Uh, no pictures, just just this. Sitting on, uh, that looks like my desk from uh, my old videos. Uh, I, this is not my ad, I, I swear. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in sticking Apple stickers on things that doesn't belong. This is a very interesting thing. It's got like gauges from 1960s automobiles. I don't know what in the world is going on here, but one picture, so that's and that's no fun. Listed 17 weeks ago. It's a hot item. Get it while you can. We'll take a look at this gaming PC here. Eight weeks ago, so this is another good one. And I won't read the description just yet. Let's look at the pictures. This one actually has pictures, so we'll take a look at them. Um, so yeah, it's just a uh, is that a pre-built? Doesn't look like a pre-built. This looks like a custom build. So you get a lot of I buy powers and stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not sure. I don't recognize that case. It uh, could just be something I've never seen before. Um, yeah. I mean, it looks okay. It's an RTX card. It looks like a 30 series. Chunky. Um, let's see. Where was that picture? The back of it there. Chunky card. Probably a 30 series. Um, so let's see what they have to say for themselves. No trades. Feel free to message me with any questions. 3700X and a 3070. Yeah. So let's, you know, that's okay. It's obviously not an $1,800 computer, but unfortunately nowadays, with the way things are priced, uh, this is probably 
not the worst deal you could find on Facebook Marketplace. It's been on here for eight weeks, and so nobody's uh, too keen on uh, buying it. But yeah, I mean, you know, 3700X, that's a few years old now. And the 3070 is a good graphics card. Um, not that anybody can buy one, but you know. Uh, what do we got here? TVs and me monitor it. One dollar. Great. That's fantastic right there. Um, so what do we got here? What in the world is that? Is that a f is that even flat screen? It doesn't look it looks weird. And then this little Dell monitor looks like it's tiny, but I think this thing's just huge. And whatever in the world this is. Blu-ray DVD players, virtual headset, TVs. I love it when they list things and they don't take pictures of it, you know. It's like I've got like 50 different items here where I'm selling, but I'm only going to take a picture of three of them. That's a good way to sell your stuff right there. Bluetooth speakers. That's what everybody needs. Acer desktop computer. Oh, there's even a computer in it. Wouldn't have guessed that from this picture. Um, does it even say anything about the TVs? TVs from 30 to 40 inch. Great. I think one's $50 for that flat screen TV from 2007. Well, you know, good luck with that. Funny, just, you know, funny things like that. What really gets me going? Oh, this is a good one. This has been on here for a few days now. This is a GTX 1080, um, which sells on eBay from anywhere between $450 and $550 nowadays, unfortunately. Um, she's in really good condition. Never had any problems. This guy with the anime profile picture on Facebook, no other listings, um, you know, $200. $200 for a 1080. Nowadays, when they easily go on eBay for $500, uh, you know, you're totally not going to get kidnapped and murdered by, if you go and look at that. Definitely not. Definitely not. I totally recommend going and checking that out. Good deal. Here's one that was listed a while back, a week ago it says. It's been marked down from 200 to $80. Um, this is old Dell XPS, obviously. It still has a system in it. Um, it looks to be in terrible shape. They say the uh, protective plastic, the peel-off plastic is still on it. Um, but it looks like it's been scraped up pretty badly over the years. I doubt that the plastic's done much to protect it. But you can see it still has the parts in it. Um, looks like some kind of some kind of graphics cards there. Um, GeForce, um, probably 8800 GTs, maybe. Who knows? Um, they have removed the hard drive, and it doesn't have a CPU cooler for some reason. But everything else is there. Um, they're saying moving sale, massive, all aluminum chassis. Um, still has plastic protective covering. Case has plenty of room to build out a super custom gaming platform. Room, room for four drives. Ooh, we can put four drives in it. Um, excellent price for a case that will last you many years and many upgrades. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it is cool for what it is, but it's not very good for building a system in. Um, it's just a goofy listing. I, I would, I would love to play around with this if I. If it was local to me, it's not. It's in Madison, Georgia, which is a few hours away, but yeah. Oh, that looks like a good one there. What is that? Yeah, we got the screenshots of the phone pictures. Um, one of those cheesy eBay cases. Is this a pre-built? It's got a sticker on it. Whatever has those stickers on it, it, it just screams pre-built to me. He's selling his peripherals. Ooh. I'll always love somebody's secondhand peripherals. Um, so, what in the world is that CPU cooler? The weird looking, weird looking thing there. Um, he's got a exhaust fan. It looks like an RGB exhaust fan, but it's not lit up. That's encouraging. Um, this looks like an old motherboard. What in the world is that? He's got PS2 inputs. I don't necessarily mean it's really old. Let's see what this is. It's an 8400. i5-8400. 8 gigs of RAM. GTX 1063 gigabyte. Yeah, so 
not worth anywhere close to $800 um, even in today's graphics card climate I I don't know maybe $500 but I mean I just I don't know I don't know who would buy this computer I mean, you could go to Best Buy I'm pretty sure and get a new computer with better parts for maybe just a little more money I don't know it's funny to see these weird listings let's see what else we've got here oh now that looks like a good one that's not local but this look, oh that looks like a real good one right there Facebook you know me too well you got a Xbox gift card um, does it come with that and probably should they're asking 300 for this this has got to be a really bad system no graphics card I recognize that case that's the eBay special right there um, it's got the uh, obnoxious lights in it, LED lights. Um, and a bunch of empty spots for fans in the front of the case. For some reason, has them in the top. All right, let's see what they have to say for themselves on this one. Gaming PC for Fortnite, Call of Duty, Rust, and other games. Runs most games at medium settings at decent frame rates. <laughs> Comes with one terabyte storage. Seems to store plenty of games on it. 300 is the lowest price I can go. Okay. So let's see. What's the best picture we get of this thing there? Motherboard is pretty old. So obviously Intel. Stock cooler. Older. Older stuff here. Can't really tell what that could be. but Oh, it's got two RAM slots. So it's an H-series motherboard. So that's... That's utter trash right there. That's um, not something anybody should buy, really. Um, yeah. That's not even a good platform to put a graphics card in. This GTX 950 wouldn't even want to be in that thing, I'm afraid. Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> oh, Facebook, you know me too well. Harley, Motor Harley-Davidson Cycles Computer. Special edition, specially designed Bob PC. Windows is activated. The Intel Core i3. Well, at least it's not a i7 uh, with the stock cooler on it. An i3 processor, no graphics card, doesn't look like. Um, it's powered by Asus. It's got a, I recognize that sticker. That's like, that's at least a decade old. I like it, I like it. Where is this? In Edenton. That's not too far away. Where is that? Yeah. Might have to go and pick this one up. Yes, it's available if you're seeing the post. The tower works fine. Check picture for full description. Full description. I guess this is our full description right here. I3540. Um, so, yeah. Not going to be doing much with that nowadays, but it's kind of Western Digital... Um, green drive there. We got other drives in there, a bunch of drives. Um, but yeah, mo motor Harley Davidson cycles computer. That's a good one right there. Gaming PC full setup. Selling my gaming PC. Built in December 2019. No description. No pictures. Two thousand dollars. You just um, you know, it's like playing the lottery. What's that in December 2019? What's that going to be a RTX 2080? And you know, 9900K, 2080, 2080 Ti, or is it going to be a GTX 970 with a i7 8700 9K and uh, one stick of RAM? You never know. Um, does it come with the little baby keyboard? You don't know. It's the, uh, that's the Facebook Marketplace lottery. You gotta find out. You gotta spin to win. The mouse is bigger than the keyboard. Anyway, yeah, here's another custom built computer. Um, that's a great case right there. That looks like it. you have great airflow. Clearly, uh, 5700 XT. I doubt that that's $500, but uh, you know, anyway, it says 500 there, but I'm guessing in the description. I always like to look at the pictures before I read the description try to get a feel for what we're dealing with here um, so we've got a what in the world with a cable 
sticking back through the back of the case. It's like sticking through the top. Oh, it was, I thought it was sticking out the back. <laughs> it's lined up perfectly with whatever that is back there. And oh, okay, well that's a little bit better. It's just hanging. Either way, it's not. I don't think it's supposed to be hanging there, but it's, at least it's not stuck through the back. Uh, I got this dusty monitor. Um, more dust it comes with, the uh, you know the more reliable it is. Yeah, X570. So this is a fairly recent. It's obviously not going to be charging five hundred dollars for it. Let's see, price seventeen fifty. Yeah. Well, why don't you list it for seventeen fifty then? Um, blah blah blah. So it's a 3600X and a 5700XT. Oh, that's you know that should be about maybe a thousand dollars. Um, I don't know how much a 5700XT would go for on eBay. I'm guessing at least a thousand dollars, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's got some other semi specs. I mean, I'm not sure what 500 SSD is at a 500 gigabyte SSD. And I guess he's selling his um, Walmart gaming monitor as well. Samsung 60 hertz monitor and a Spectre. A Spectre. Whenever you see Spectre on a monitor, you know it's quality. That's uh, I'm not sure if that's a Walmart in-house brand or not, but I know they sell those things at Walmart. Um, built last summer, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and Just way overpriced. It's kind of goofy with the cables hanging around, but... Anyway, I think I'm going to switch on over to some of the ones I bookmarked. Um, that was a couple nights ago. I really <laughs> seemed to hit gold, I guess. I don't know, strike strike gold. But um, I found some really funny ones. We'll look at those right now. All right, so this one here, I'm not really sure what to say about it, to be honest with you. Um, he's got a whole ecosystem in here, different wildlife. He's got some little pebbles of what looks to be... Um, I don't know. Looks like looks like it could be um, what's that stuff? This in thermometers. <laughs> looks like little blobs of that stuff. Uh, anyway, this is a gaming PC, two thousand uh, dollars. This is local to me. Oh, it's uh, one of those. I think it's one of those Z690 boards, one of the new ones, one of the cheaper ones as well. Um, it's got the I buy power all in one cooler. So is this a pre-built? Does he show the whole case? No, it's just all close-ups of his ecosystem. So let's see, what is it? It's an 11600 KF, so it's not Z6, not even Z690. Um, still not $2,000, even if it was Z690. But it's not. It's a just a uh, it's just a i5 11600KF. RTX 3060 Ti, so you know mid-range, mid-range gaming build. This should cost maybe a thousand dollars. Apparently, originally wanted two thousand eight hundred seventy-one dollars for it, so that's good. Um, Sixteen years around. Blah, blah, blah. SSD no longer have that stuff in it. That's shown in the photo. Well, we're going to get off of that one and take a look at some other ones. All right, I don't really remember this one. Um, let's see. I buy power. Ugh. I buy power. Fortnite may or may not be eligible to play. So, um, you may not. Fortnite may or may not be eligible to play. I, I don't even know what he's trying to say there, to be honest. I buy power. It's on like one of those. It's sitting on one of those things like old people use to sit on in the shower that they advertise. Like you fall and you can't get up in the shower, you need that to, to sit on. He's got his um, surgical mask, um, whatever this thing is. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it could be like an abandoned house. This is grandma's house. She she died like 10 years ago. He's going to sell his... So maybe maybe this is her gaming PC. What is this? It looks like it could be from about 2010. Um, it's a Ryzen 3 3100, of course. Um, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay. Oh, and I like his uh, cigarette burnt monitor. Uh, that cigarette burn kiss mark. Let's see. What is this one here? This is another one I bookmarked. Uh, 1050 Ti. 
4790 okay fair enough that's not terrible not a great price but the way things are nowadays again you can't really you know you can't it's, it's not two thousand dollars at least uh, he's got an SSD poking out back there this isn't in, this isn't crazy I'm not sure why I bookmarked this one is it the motherboard oh yeah I think it's because of the motherboard look at that you think like you could fit two systems in this case a little tiny motherboard there so it's a four yeah, okay so it's an i7 4790 yeah okay I think I see why I bookmarked this one it's a, it's a high-end CPU on this old like bottom of the line office computer motherboard so yeah and the little low small form factor graphics card you could fit another one of those systems over here on the side of it so yeah kind of funny I guess all right so we got another um, I buy power here gaming PC comes with mouse and keyboard always love me some used keyboard and mice um, it's got the PS2 connectors always a sign of quality He's, he, he shows the most, you know, uh, appealing side of the computer first, the back of it with the little uh, rubber grommets for your 2012 uh, custom water loop. Um, he's got the Windows 8 sticker on the side. Um, I guess he, he got ripped off and bought an official copy of Windows 8 from Microsoft for $120 or so. Um, and what in the world this is, I don't know. He likes clockwork, orange, toothpaste. I don't know. Why is the uh, sticker ripped? Does it... I don't understand why it's ripped like that. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this one. It's just... There's no description. No, I, no idea of what's in here. Um, Intel. It's... Uh, graphics card MSI what's that like an R9 270 probably you know one stick of RAM that's good that's always good um, but anyway that's a few of the funny computer listings that's about all I've got right there um, I'll keep looking to see if I can find more funny ones I'm always looking at Facebook marketplace um, that's just a few of the funny ones I see I see all kinds of silly stuff around me um, be sure to join the Discord server. I've got that in the description. Uh, if you find some funny listings, be sure to leave them there. Maybe I'll uh, do more of these videos soon. I love looking at these silly listings. Um, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of them or if you don't want to see more of them. If you'd rather see me uh, do some more review videos of computer parts, I've always got some more crap playing around here. There's always more to see on the CRT Productions. Hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching. And stay safe out there.